here's how you can add multi filters to your frame aside with checkbox filters, range sliders, toggles, and multiple instances of the same filter. And you can sort it, get the count, and also search. In addition to that, I can go inside a page, come back, and all the filters are remembered. And uh, the sorting is also remembered. And it applies when I refresh the page or close the tab and come back another time. All this is done using browser memory. So the first thing is to copy and paste all the overrides and components. So I'll come to my source file, go here, copy the overrides, new override, name it, anything you want, and paste the override. Then I'll select my CMS collection directory and select arc file and the broadcaster override. So this tells the rest of the components uh, where to look for and what to search for. And then I will copy all the components. So now we have the basic setup ready. And the next step is to configure each of these components separately, as well as the cards. The most important step is to configure the layer names. So over here we have this field called layer name. So I come here and this is our a category filter and I need to go to the text layer, uh, rename it category and copy the same layer name, come here and paste the layer name. And this is our price range filter. I'll go inside the card. I select the price layer and the next layer I have renamed it the price. Copy that and paste it here. And we do the same for the toggle. I come here, I see that the field delivery text layer is named delivery i copy that i paste it here and if yes it shows free delivery right now and if it's no we don't show anything so we configure that as well and then we have an option for default state uh, and the off logic so if it's off i can either choose to show only the off items or show all items and we do the same for colors and here the color is a reference field so you can see over here that uh, we have a colors collection, but even here, we need to copy the name of the text layer. So the text layer is called color. We copy that and paste it here. The search can't count or uh, don't need any additional center. You can just paste it here and it's ready to go. Same for the empty state. I paste the component here and I select it to my empty state layer and pagination also works the same way you have a bunch of customizations here but it should be ready to go without any more customization and the last thing is of course sorting so i come here i can set the default text to whatever i want so i'll say most element for now and inside the sorting options i can select the sorting options so first thing is title and string again if i go inside the card I see that the title is named title. If I name it title2, I need to copy title2 to the, to the layer name. And the second option is price. And the price is a number. So we select number. And again, if I go back here, I see that the text layer name is price. And now when I preview it, everything should auto fetch all the categories. Uh, and it will auto fetch the range and the step the deliveries, the colors, and the sorting should all work as well as search.